Hi everyone and welcome back to Bombshell Beauty. My name is Yolanda and this is my first video for 2018. Um, I hope my music's not too loud. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit of a long one. I've decided, and I know it, January is almost over, so it's kind of, some people are going to be like, why bother doing this when 2018 has started? It's almost the end of January. Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, it got a little loud there. And I hope I don't have lip gloss on my teeth. This is a cherry cherry in the snow uh, lip gloss that came with my polish. So it's like very shiny and sticky. It's very, very pretty, but I feel like it's going to be on my teeth a lot in this video. So if it ends up on my teeth, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to do this Ipsy Bag uh, 2017 Ipsy Bags or what I got in my 2017 Ipsy bags because I am getting rid of Ipsy. I forgot to get rid of it uh, in December after I got my December bag and now I received um, earlier in the month the January Ipsy bag for 2018 and uh, I was like crap. So I'm, I'm debating whether to just keep Ipsy for this year because they sent me the January or just get rid of it, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because I've become interested in the BoxyCharm uh, subscription box. Um, I believe it's $22 a month, a lot more than $10 a month with Ipsy, but you get full-size products, very nice products, and um, I mean... I just feel like I'd get more out of that than what I'm getting with Ipsy. I'm starting all of last year with Ipsy. I got a lot of nude lipsticks and I love that I got the skin, the skincare um, products they would send and all the makeup brushes were my best, best things I got out of my Ipsy bag for 2017, but everything else, the shadows are so... They kept sending me uh, contouring products and highlighting products, which I don't really use. I've never really used them at all in any of my videos. I may start just to do a look or something or try it out and see how I like it on myself, but I've never done a contour on my face or highlighted. Um, I just felt like I was getting a lot of repetitive products all the same color. Everything was nude. Now I like nude colored sweaters and things like that, but as far as makeup, as far as a nude lip color would go, I'll probably wear like a mauve pink colored lipstick, but they sent a lot of browns and I just got... it. It was so repetitive this year, this past year, that I just lost interest in the whole thing, and I figured I'm gonna find something else that might be a little bit more fun. And I, though I enjoyed the products that I got, too many nudes, too many nudes, and I know I'm just sick of the nudes shades. <laughs> like I said, I could wear nude colored blouses or sweaters or something like that but as far as makeup I'm just sick of seeing it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started with January 2017 which was this a very pretty uh, New Year's looking bag and inside is a lot of these I haven't even touched yet so I'm gonna go ahead and start using them Maybe do reviews on them because they are sample size products. That way, and a lot of these, a lot of you already know about, but I'll, I will use them and do reviews on products like these. And if I like them, I'll either go out and get them or you know how it is. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. Full anti-aging waterproof concealer. Now I've noticed lately 
and it's probably going to bed too late on the computer a lot and I'm so used to wearing my glasses that I don't notice if I have under eye bags or dark circles which I don't seem to have dark circles but I am getting the bags under my eyes and inside my lash line are red and I'm thinking I, I've thought for a little while now that I may be allergic to my cats because my eyes are itchy a lot but I'm not getting rid of my cat so I just deal with it I mean, it's not a constant itch of eye, my eyes all the time every now and then I think it depends on the weather or something where they just itch more than normal so that was I'm gonna try this because when I wear my contacts I seem to notice my um, bags under my eyes a lot more than when I don't have my contacts on and it also they also sent me the Gelology Top Coat by Kiati London I don't know how to pronounce that name but it is a clear I'm assuming uh, top coat and I don't use gel polishes either so I may give that to one of my friends that does gels and then here's the first bronzer by Mana Kadar called Fantasy I don't even take the plastic off let's see It doesn't even say whether it's a bronzer or an eyeshadow. It could be an eyeshadow. Let's see. It doesn't say. But I guess you could use it as a highlighter, bronzer, eyeshadow. It is very pretty. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see it on my pale hand. But, I mean, I would use it as an eyeshadow. The next product is Blushlicious Coconut and Rose Infused Cheek Color by Pacifica. I always hear lots of good reviews on Pacifica products. But this also is cheek color and it's got a unicorn on the cover of the little thing and it is a bronze blush which these are nice in the summertime but on my pale skin and it also looks the same color as that um, Manic Kadar, uh, which is right here if you can see it, and it's almost identical. Let's see, look at this. This one is a little bit more rosy colored, but it's still to me the same color. And this is why I decided to just give Ipsy the walking papers because it's just like they're almost identical. They're very pretty, but I have so many shadows and blushes of this color, it's like I don't need any more. It's driving me crazy. And the last product for January's bag is the 417 Hand Moisturizer in this little tube. And I can, at this time of the year, my hands are dry constantly. I just put lotion on and they're all still dry, very dry looking. So I will try this. So this was January's Ipsy bag for 2017, which the products were pretty good. Next is February's bag, which was this little, got cat hair on everything. I had these all laid out for this video and obviously the cats decided to lay on my little display. That's a little Jean 
material with fluorescent orange trim and the little lips. So this bag has Hikari cream pigment and it's in the color latte. I can open it and it's a gold, I guess it's a gold shadow. Very, very pretty, very New Year's Eve or Valentine's Day, Christmas, but very, very pretty. Let's see. And very pigmented. That's going to be gorgeous. I really like that. The next product is by NYX, their Butter Lipstick in Ripe Berry. And Again, it's like a brown, well it looks brown, it's like a dark berry which is very pretty this time of the year color and I will definitely use this. The next product is by True Botanicals. Uh, resurfacing moisture mask which right now this time of the year my skin on my face is really dry and this is it's like a looks like a gel and it looks very messy but I will give it a try um, I, I'm still it smells like honey but it's very strong Ugh, might be off <laughs> I don't know I'll try it and if it's has that smell all over my face, I won't be using it. And the next product is something I always love to receive by Ipsy because you always, you can never have too many makeup brushes. And this is by Luxie Beauty. And this is, it's on there somewhere, a blush brush. And it's very, very soft. Very, very soft. And then the final product is a Bella Pierre Volume Lash Waterproof Mascara, which I will give a try because I'm trying to use up all the mascaras that I get from Ipsy. I've just used up my Soap and Glory Mascara, which I really love. But instead of just going out and buying some more, I'm going to use up my little sample size mascaras and I plan on this year um, really going through my makeup and getting rid of stuff I don't use and anything that hasn't been used or opened I might just put in goodie bags and give them to my friends so let's see what this um, it doesn't say what color I'm Pretty sure it's black because most mascaras Ipsy has sent are black. And this is the wand and I don't know if I like that wand. It's very plastic and so flimsy I will probably jab my eyeball but I'll give it a try, get rid of it, use it up. I could use waterproof mascaras when I go out because a lot of times um, my eyes get teary, especially if it's windy, and then I've got a mess on my face. So that was February. Next is March, which was this very pretty uh, nude pink bag with your little netting detail. So, let's see what was in here. I don't even remember, remember because it's been that long. And this is in the color Chestnut by M Princess Pressed uh, Eyeshadow, I guess. It doesn't say, and I can't open it. Another dark brown color. Like, this is what I was talking about. We're going to go, what the heck? Let's see, how do you open this? Oh, okay. Again, another dark brown shadow or contour. Not much different in that pretty gold one. 
I mean, you can only wear that color so many times. I mean, it's a nice natural looking color to use, but I get bored. <laughs> the next product is Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion Age Defying Exfoliator, which I'm excited to use this. I forgot that I got this because I end up opening my bags and putting them to the side if it's not uh, a wow bag. <laughs> Um, I've used his products before in my Ipsy bag, and I really, really love their products, so i um, looking forward to using this. Uh, I believe they sell this brand at Ulta, so that's going to be nice. The next product is, or item, is in by Mark Anthony Deep Repair Aloe Vera Jasmine um, Deep Repairing Conditioning Treatment. Hydrating formula moisturizes, softens, and corrects dry, damaged hair, protects color, use weekly. And it's a pretty decent size. It's about the size of your, like a hand cream. I will try that. I just got my hair done last week. Thank God, my roots were so bad. That's one of the reasons why I didn't film. They were so embarrassing. It was like when I would set my hair. It was just psh, big dark roots and it was just made the hair oh, my phone. I mean my camera shut off. Ugh, hate that. After like 15 minutes it cuts itself off. The next uh, product is by Tarte Lip Paint and the color is Vibin and it looks like an orangey brown. And it looks like it's aged, <laughs> probably because I haven't um, used it in the year that it was sent. And I mean, it looks really bad there. Let's see. Now that would be a very pretty color in the fall, but it oh, looks very messy. I'll try to use that a little bit before the winter ends. Now I need to wipe my hand off because that is going to get everywhere. Oh my god, I bought this tub of wipes and every time you pull one through the slot it breaks it and then you can't get another one and it's just like so annoying. So every time I go to get a wipe I have to unscrew the lid, push it through the the little thing here and then get the wipe and then oh, it just breaks over again. Okay. And the final little item is a bow gaseous. I can't read it. It's so small. And it is a tapered blending brush. Very, very soft. I love when I get the brushes. So that was all of um, what month? March 2017's bag. So next is April, which making a mess here. Is shaped like a movie ticket. I thought this was pretty cool. And the first item is by ColourPop. It is a cream gel liner in Show Me. <laughs> and you would think on the the because the ends like turquoise you would get a turquoise liner. No, it's called Show Me and it is a bronze liner. It's like 2017 was the year of bronze and gold and nude forever. It's just like you're killing me, Smalls. The next one is by Naked Cosmetics and take a guess. 
Let's see, did I open this yet? No. It ooh, is the color Naked uh, Cosmetics Heavy Metal. Oh my god. And it's loose pigment. Very, very pretty. But yeah. Let's see. I'll just tap a little bit. This would be definitely, it's a very gorgeous shade, but this will make all in my eyes. And it looks very pretty with the ColourPop um, liner. But this is, <laughs> I have it on my teeth. I know this gloss is going to get all over my teeth. Okay, so that was that. The next item is Aloe Smoothing Soothing Gel by Hannah Lay. Soothing Aloe Gel for face and body. So I'm guessing like if you burnt yourself or you got a little bit of sunburn or sensitive skin to something, this would be good for that. Um, I might give that to my son when he's gone surfing or whatever. The next item is Touch and Soul No Problem Primer Hide Pores and Wrinkles Can never have too many primers so I will um, see if I like this and let you guys know And the final item in my bag and I'm scared to open it is by Kiate London um, Bamboo Bronzer Powder Bronzer I don't want to open it. Wait, do I have it on the right side? Let's see. Okay, that's supposed to be a bronzer, but it looks like a concealer. You can barely see it on my pale hand. So that was all of April's 2017 bag. That was definitely a disappointing bag. The next one is May, which I thought this was really, really cute. And it's the little popsicles clear bag. And let's pull out the first item. By Urban Decay, I always get um, excited to get an Urban Decay product because they're amazing. And this is the Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. Now, for people who use highlighters on a regular basis, this Ipsy is great for sending stuff like that. So this would be beneficial to someone who does use bronzers and highlighters. And... This is the color, a very pretty champagne color, which I would probably use as an eyeshadow because that's just up my alley. The next product is a Dis New York uh, Original Infused Nail Lacquer. Um, this is a gel polish, which I don't use, so again, this will go to some one of my friends that use gel polishes. And it's a very pretty baby egg blue color and then the next product is Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics um, this is super charged uh, super intense eyeshadow duo <sighs> oh my god I could sell all these and they're all it's like they're all the same color I do like it has a little mirror on the inside. Okay, so the final two is another Lux Beauty brush, and this is a Precision Foundation brush. It's so soft. I need to start using brushes for my foundation. I never really, I usually use my fingers and that's it, but like. It just feels so nice. I like the color too. 
And then the final product or item is by Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen. And it's in Black Noir. And it's just a black liner, which black liners are always good because I like black as black as you can get when it comes to my liners and my um, mascaras. So that was um, May. I'm losing track here. The next bag is for June, and this was also a very cute little bag. This is another problem. I love their bags. They're all very cute every month, but I now have so many little makeup bags that I don't know what to do with them except give them as gifts, fill them with products, and give them as gifts for birthdays and things like that. Um, <laughs> it's just too much. And I don't, didn't realize that when I signed up how many bags you end up accumulating. So the first one is a beauty uh, blender sponge. It, does, it says beauty basics, but I mean, I don't use these either. The next one is NYX Whipped uh, Lip. A color in plush. As I was saying, I like nude clothing, but not not lip color. And this is just the old nude. It's pretty, but it's just not me. This would be something to wear to church. <laughs> The next one is by The Bomb, which I also love that they send The Bomb uh, products. Long Wearing Blush, and this is Balm Springs in a very pretty nude blush. Which, I don't like nude blushes either that, very, that much. The next one is called Hey Honey Undercover. Detoxifying Mud Mask clarifies and detoxes skin of impurities. It's just a little tube. Um, you leave this on 10 to 15 minutes until dry and then rinse. So I'll give this a go. The last item in there is another um, polish, but it doesn't say if it's a gel or not called Green Day Lily and it's a very pretty nail polish. So that is for that bag. And next is July, which this is also really cute. It's like a little egg yolk. Look at it, it's got a little butt crack. <laughs> That's so funny. And the first item is Ginger and Gold peach and gold frosting blush with ginger, uh, lychee, mangosteen, and chamomile extracts. Why does it need all that? Just give me some color. It's gluten free, uh, no mineral oil, no parabens, vegan, no, and they're hypoallergenic and non Comedogenic. Oh no, I can't pronounce that. I need to go back to science. And there it is. And the next item is by Afra Cosmetic Laboratories, and it is a gold rush eyeshadow. Another gold color. I even tried updating my profile of what I like, thinking it would change. And they still sent nudes and golds, as you can see. It's like insane. The next item is by Kiati London Wonderland Gel Coal Eyeliner. Um, I believe it's black. This is a pencil liner. 
The next item is H-A-A-V-A. -A -A. Um, Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. I'm gonna give that a try. And then the last item is by Trey Stick in Bisque, and it's a concealer crayon, which is my shade, so that'll come in handy. I'll put it right there. Ooh, it's nice and creamy, too. I'm out of my Chanel concealer, and I love that stuff. Oh! What did I do with the other? I dropped it. Okay. So that is July. Now let's get on to towards the end here. The next bag is for August and it is the Wild and Free bag. And the first one is by Ico. I really like the Ico uh, products. They're um, eyeliner pen that I had it was amazing. Get this lip stuff off. And this is the mascara, Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl and it looks like a cream mascara which very interesting. I've never used one of these before. I know Bessame makes one that I want to try. I have the um, cake mascara, but it's so messy. And that is it. I like the brush. So I will give that a try. I'm sure I'll like it because I love their, that brand. The next is a deep cleanser with red clay. Removes excess oils, unclogs pores, and purifies. Um, this is by First Aid Beauty, and I, I think I got one of these before, or something similar. The next item is another lovely brush by Crown. They don't play with their makeup brushes, that's for sure. They're all really nice, sturdy brushes. This is so soft. Um, it doesn't say what brush it is, but I would say it is a blush or something. Okay, camera, quit turning off on me. This shirt's getting stuff on it. <laughs> um, the next item is Liquid Coal waterproof liquid liner um, by Seraphine. Look at its cute little butterflies on it. I love liner pens so I'm probably getting, ooh it's nice and it's a nice firm. It's not too big and not too skinny and it's black black. Love it. I have to go through all my bags and get out my favorite stuff. And the last product in this is by Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. Um, dermatology tested based on a clinician evaluation of skin hydrated level. The True Cream Aqua Bomb. Um, I guess it's just a moisturizer. So I will give this a try. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks really nice. And it smells like, it smells clean. It has that aqua smell, but it's clean. It's not um, that, uh, um, I bought a moisturizer gel from the cream, the Korean skincare line I've been using. And it, I love it, but it has the rose scent in it, and I've gotten to where rose scents make me get headaches. And I could not get rid of that smell after I put it on. But it, it moisturized really good, and it was so nice, but I was going to get over that rose smell. So next is, um, this is my regular makeup bag. 
I use now because I, I really like this bag. But this is September's bag. I feel like I have a hair on my lip. Anyway, I have another gel um, polish. And this is the ugliest. I can feel it on, it's like right in the middle of my lip. Um, the ugliest color I've ever seen in my life is like dead gray. Ah, ipsy, ipsy. The next one was Pixie by Tre Petra, which is a pretty decent size. I can feel it. Oh, that's driving me nuts because I can feel it right in the center. I know if I miss it, it's going to get everywhere. Oh well, I'm just going to have to suck it up. It's Peach Honey Beauty Blush Duo. Um, very pretty light colors. I think this is something I'll probably use during the springtime, which I'm looking forward to. The next item is a volume powder by Eva NYC. Um, it's a pretty decent size to put volume in your hair. I haven't used any of these in a while. I know um, Sally's used to carry that vintage line and they had one but I, I missed out on it before I actually found out about the powder. Um, they quit selling that line. I was like, damn. So next is, this one I'm actually excited about is by Smashbox um, Photo Finish Foundation Primer um, Radiance with High Chloronic Acid. It's just a little tiny size, but I think I'm going to like that. And then the last one is a Medium Angled Blending, or I can't read it. Another lovely brush. It is by Luxie and it's the medium angled shading brush. Very, very nice. So that is July, no, September's um, Ipsy bag. Okay, I'm going to have to remember to put this back in my purse. And now for October, which this was like a little wimpy bag. It's a little burgundy bag with like little rosy lace detail. Need to get that piece of hair off my lip. Where's that little mirror? Oh, it's driving me nuts. I think when I do. I'm going to do another video later tonight. Um, it's getting chilly in this room, so I'm going to be changing out of this short sleeve shirt into something warm. And I'm taking this crap off after dinner, or before dinner. So, in September, October's bag, oh my god, I got the Firma um, little brush, but it doesn't say. It's just like little shadow shading blending brush and then there's DLS dirty little secret eyeshadow please be pink or something cool <laughs> come on man I can open it. It's about the same color as that other one I had gotten. It's like nuts. And it's kind of called bronzed. And the last item in this one. I think there's one missing in here because I've got the brush, the shadow, and then this. So I think there's something missing. Oh well. This is by Tarte, the Lights Camera Lashes. I'm excited about this one. 
I'm going to use that also. And then we're down to November. Which this is also a very pretty bag. I like the dark green color and the um, black. Uh, it's almost velvet, but not. It's like suede, a little bit of a suede feel to it. So the first product is, this seems like it's going to be good, by Global Beauty Care um, Dead Sea Wash Off Mask with salts and mineral from the Dead Sea. 15 minute face body therapy deep cleansing mud based formula. Um, this, this got, feels like it's got a good bit in it, so that'll last me a little, a little while. I haven't done masks in a long, long time. The next item I was super excited to receive because I love this mascara, and when it was in the bag, I was like, yay! Because I get so used to my Chanel mascara or the now that I've fell in love with the um, Soap and Glory one, it's like this one fell behind. So it's the Their Real um, Mascara by Benefit, one of my favorites. Um, I wish they would have sent me one by the bomb. There it goes. It was a piece of my hair stuck to my lip ball that time. <laughs> Anyway, it's a nice little sample size. I just love this mascara. So that was one of the good things I got this past year. The next item is another brush. This is a um, Miss Glam by Ipsy a Tapered Highlighting Brush. So, so pretty. And next is by ColourPop Press Powder Shadow. And this is the color Come and Get It, which is a nice uh, goldy, it's almost like a rose gold, I believe. That's a very pretty color. I do like the color of that. And then next is Gold Dust. Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. Um, if this has gold flakes on it, it will not be going in my hair. But because I don't use dry shampoos anyway, so this is something that's just gonna be probably in the trash. I hate saying that with something I'm getting for free, pretty much. But Okay, and then we're coming down to the very end of the year with December's bag, which I believe I showed this during one of my Vlogmas videos. Um, it was very pr pretty for Christmas, but I remember that the products inside were just like, are you kidding me? You're going to end the year with boring stuff, which I guess, well, skincare is not boring, but I was hoping for at least a red lipstick or something. Um, the Pureless Green Tea Ginger uh, Rejuvenating Mask, which I'm excited to use this. Oh god, here we go. Everything's not working. Okay. And then the Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask. The um, Beauty Water Facial Toner, that's a nice little size. The Stay Matte by Rimmel Mattifying uh, Primer. Shine Controlling, Pore Minimizing, Hydrating, Feel Smooth Skin. Um, this will be something I'll probably use in the summertime when it's very hard to keep a matte face in the heat and the muggy air. And then I've got the last two were a lovely Luxie Precision Shader. And the last item, makeup item, was a NYX Fall Blacks 
eyeliner. So that one, I guess they wanted to end the year with some skincare, which is okay, I guess, but I want a red lipstick. And now my final Ipsy bag for ever, I think, unless I change my mind, I, I kind of think I want to <coughs> just get them for the year because they sent me Januarys, but at the same time i just rather not put myself through fixing my page and doing the reviews and still ending up with nudes. So this is the bag. It reminds me of a wetsuit. <laughs> kind of stupid looking and I got a styling cream with Oregon oil and shea butter uh, moisture rich for flexible hold this is probably just good for if you uh, wash and go type of person And next is the Be Fine Food Skin Care Exfoliating Cleanser with Brown Sugar, Sweet Almond, and Oats. This looks like it'll be really nice. It's, this is what I'm talking about. It's time to let them go because it's the first bag of the year and already a contour palette with the highlighter, the bronzer, and the contour, which I don't do, so I don't know. <laughs> the next item, I looked in this bag, but I didn't really look at it, and of course, it is a nude lip color. This is like a lip, um, Crayon Magnetic Matte Lip Color. And there's nothing worse that I see is a matte lip that is nude. It just makes it... Look at it. It's so ugly. It looks like a freaking um, concealer. Like, can you picture me with that on my mouth compared to what I wear normally? Like, oh my god. Yeah, it's Ipsy's bye-bye because I can't deal. The next product is by Kiate London Fierce Flicks um, liner pen, which I love liner pens, so this is going to come in handy. But that are all. That is all. Those are all of my Ipsy bags from 2017 and January 2018. Um, if you're interested in Ipsy, you can check out their, I'll put the link below, you can check their um, site out. It's only $10 a month. As you can see, they send you miniature size uh, products to try. Um, you go on there and you make a little profile and it, they give you questions of what skin type, hair color, um, to make a profile so that they can send you products that work for you, but unfortunately, Almost everyone I know that has had Ipsy has gotten the same stuff that I've gotten and all nudes and stuff and they, that's one of the things that put them off later on. It, it was just repetitive color. Nothing... It's like the color... the bags have more color than the products that they send you. Apart from the facial, like the skincare products, almost all the skincare products I've received from Ipsy I loved. But I want some some pink lips and some red lips and like baby pink lips. I don't want. Oh nude. my god, this camera is killing me. <laughs> I want to have pretty pink lips and stuff for springtime. It's almost springtime and they're still doing nudes all year round. I'm just like, oh my god. Okay, so I thought something was on my ceiling, but it's the ceiling. I'm feeling overwhelmed, I guess because it's my first video of the year, and I don't know, I didn't want to do something boring. I hope you didn't find this video boring, it's just, 
I don't, I'm trying to like regroup for my channel and make it a lot better this year. Um, I want to learn some more editing to make it not so, I think repetitive is going to be my word this year. I feel like it, I, I do the same editing every video. I want to add like music to things and really learn how to do a voiceover and stuff for other things. Um, so stay tuned and thank you guys for being subscribers and commenting. It really means a lot to me. I intend on doing a lot more videos this year than I did last year. Last year I really slacked off. I was unmotivated. Um, this year I'm a little bit more motivated. I think doing Vlogmas really helped with that. So I'm really looking forward to sharing things with you this year. Um, feel free to comment below what you'd like to see me um, do for videos this year um, just to have it a little bit switched up and everything so I will see you soon hopefully I'll do another video tonight so I can have some more to come um, thanks for watching guys bye